So something that a lot of people don't recognize or realize is that on your tires, there are numbers, and I know it's gonna be really hard to see on this video, but there are numbers written on the inside wheel, uh, of inside of every single wheel of the Lego ro robot products that are made by Lego. So in this particular one, it's hard for you to see, but it says it's 56 by 28. So this is telling us that this particular wheel is 56 millimeters in diameter. So from here, if we were to measure across, if we were to take out a handy ruler, this is in inches, but we were to measure this in millimeters, it would show that it was 56 inches. And so if we want to travel distance, we know that we have to get to circumference, and then circumference, we can then do some calculations to get the distance that we need. So what if we created a program that allowed us to simply modify the diameter of our wheels and the distance we want to travel and make that happen. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug and I'm here and I wanted to talk to you about, we were just showing like what if we wanted to have our robot go a specific distance every single time. We didn't want to do port view. We didn't want to do guess and check. There are so many precious minutes of practice and the classrooms of, of kids just kind of pointing and shooting and hoping for the best. Like, let's go five rotations. Let's go four rotations. How about 4.3? Where if we can just do a little bit of math and create our own little my block for distance, we can actually create a system that is going to be very, very effective and save you a lot of time. And so um, let me go ahead and open up this um, block here in just a minute. But what I want to tell you is this is the basic math that we have to know. We need to figure out the circumference of our wheels. And so just a little bit ago, I showed you how to look on the inside of the tire to figure out the diameter. And so in order to get circumference, we take the diameter number and we multiply it by pi. And that's going to give us circumference. And what circumference will do is that will be one complete rotation of the wheel of how far the robot will travel. Now you can look these things up there online. Um, you can find them anywhere you go for these tires. And I'll put some links to these websites in, in the show notes for you. But it's important that you understand how people come up with those numbers because it will help you become a better programmer and problem solve if you understand how these numbers come to be. So when we open up this block here, what we're going to do, I'm actually just going to copy this over um, just so we have it posted up here for us to see. What I've done is I've already created this out so you didn't have to watch me drag it all in here. But we're using some math blocks and we're basically doing a math formula in Lego EV3. And so all these blocks are found down here in red and there are this math block right here. And I will link this code so you can access it on, on the site. But let me explain what we've got going on. So we have in here a program that our robot will always go the distance that we type in. So in the first one, we have a multiplication block right here. So I dragged this math block up, and we can change whatever kind of math equation we want to do. We have multiply. And in A, I typed in 56. So if you remember, the diameter of the wheel that I was using was 56. So whatever the number of your wheel diameter is, that's what you're going to enter here in A. And I'm multiplying it by 0.1 just because I like to do everything in centimeters. It's an easy conversion of centimeters. Um, it's more an easier number to measure out with uh, yardsticks and rulers and things like that, uh, or meter sticks, I should say. Um, but you could convert these things into inches, whatever you'd want. But for now, we're going to do centimeters. So we're actually going to multiply by 0.1 to get our decibels shifted over so that we actually have it in centimeter form. And then I've added another math block here, and I've made this multiply as well. And I've dragged this number, this result here, of converting it to centimeters into A. And now we're doing the circumference formula, and that's what I have right here. And I'm multiplying it by pi, and pi is 3.14. So this number in centimeters multiplied by pi is now going to give me the circumference of my tire. This is actually like how far uh, one rotation is, is going to be. So I'm taking that result, and I'm going to plug in another math block. But you'll notice that this one here is for divide. Now... I'm dragging this over here into the B range. So we're going to divide the total distance we want by our circumference. So if our circumference, whatever this number is, we want to divide that by the total distance so we can figure out 
how many degrees that the robot needs to move. So in this case, if I know that my diameter is 56 millimeters, all right, and in this particular case, once I do this conversion here over two centimeters, and then I multiply that by pi, I know that I'm going to get that my circumference of my wheel is going to be 17 centimeters. So we're taking the total distance here of 76, dividing that by the 17, and that is going to give me how many rotations of my robot wheel my, my robot needs to move in order to reach that particular distance. Okay, so I've got 76 divided by my circumference, and then I've added another math block. And I just like to move things into degrees. It just makes sense for me with my robot, and then I can really dial it in. So I have another multiply. So I'm taking this number here of how many rotations my robot needs, and I'm multiplying it by 360. So this is converting it from rotations into degrees of my programming block. And then I went over here to the green and I moved up a move steering block. I got my motor set. I've switched this on for degrees. And I'm going forward. And I'm going to slow this down a little bit. I think 50 might be a little too much. So power of 30. And the total number of degrees is this answer right here. So now I have this block. This will get my robot to go any distance I want. And so what's really cool about this is I can go in here now and I can use this code over and over again. And all I need to do is just adjust the distance that I want to travel. So I can go in here and make this whatever number, as long as I don't change my wheels. If I change my wheels, then I need to change the diameter of the wheel here. But now, in this particular section here, the third math block for A, I just convert that to the distance. And so if I have a series of different dis distances I want to do, I measure and I plug those in, and my robot will do it. So I have 76 in here because for the challenge that we're doing, where I want the robot to go out and reach the block, I know that it's 30 inches, which is roughly 76 centimeters. So if I go ahead and download this code here, let me go ahead and plug in the robot that you can't see, but you will hear in just a minute. I plug it in. All right, and I go ahead and download this. We should have success. So let's go check it out. All right, so now, as long as we run this program, um, we should be in success. So if I go ahead and pick my block here, let's see, distance. I just added, it'll light up, it'll pause for one second, and then it should take off. So let's see if this uh, works here. Ooh, dang, that's pretty darn smooth. So you can see that it went and it traveled that distance. So you can see now that we understand the basics behind that. We could use those blocks of code, and now I could do my whatever I need to do and retrieve. I could do the same thing back. Or in first leg, if we need to go there and then we need to maybe go all the way over here, we could just do another sequence of code and put in that distance. So that's just one way to help understand how to get more precise with your robot. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know what you think. As always, stay awesome.